Mitch and Matt, thank you very much. What is up, everybody? Danny Lim here, joined by Super from San Francisco Shock. And we do have a special guest. We have John Spector, our Vice President of Overwatch Esport, who is going to have a few words for our winning champions. That was that was a truly incredible match. Congratulations, Super, the entire San Francisco Shock team and organization. 2020 through countless obstacles with you guys and every single time you climb back on top. Congratulations again. Danny, back to you. Thank you, John. I do have to ask you about the last part, bro. Like, that whole hog, how did it feel? Like, that winning moment, you, you guys won with that whole hog. Like, you won it. I, I mean, you and the team won it, but, like, how did it feel? <laughs> yeah, it's actually kind of <laughs> funny because we had a very similar situation like that before. And I remember uh, Krusty got mad at me because I didn't, like, push the advantage enough. But this time, I was like, I, I heard that the hog uses heels, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going, and then I just whole hogged in, I went in, um, and you know, I think I got like four people, but, uh, you know, I had to like run out of here because I was like alone in this room, I had to zoom out to the room to be with my teammates, but feels good, feels good. You know, you guys won the 2019 Grand Finals, and with this, you guys are back-to-back -back champions, this is the first time in Overwatch League history, what is this whole winning the Grand Finals twice in a row, like what does that mean to you? Um, you know, I thought about this a little bit before. Um, and I knew this would make us the best Overwatch team of all time, Overwatch League, pre-Overwatch, no matter what you say. Uh, <laughs> I think you would have to put us in that position, no matter what. Um, but I also think that it, like, it goes beyond Overwatch, and it's like, you can talk about us with, like, the best esports teams of all time. Not just Overwatch, but if you branch across every, you know, esport that's ever existed, uh, I feel like you can put us in that conversation with those teams who are dominant and have been a dynasty and they've built a dynasty in the past. Better than LeBron. <laughs> Why would you gift the sub to Soul Dynasty? That's just kind of fucking toxic, dude. The two timer. Two. Two time. Spoiler super dude. I don't give a fuck. What if if, if you've been living under a rock? Then I don't care. It's been like what three days? I know you guys missed me. Smart. I know you did. Hey, you don't have to hide it. Second, Jess, I just woke up. I gotta. Uh, you know? Alcohol is fucking poison, by the way. If you guys were unaware. Let me tell you that shit right now. That shit's fucking poison. Aren't you five inches deep into your mother? Yes, I am. How'd you know? Yo! Yo, yo, yo. Everyone listen to me. Everyone fucking listen to me. I need to set the record straight here. The Ana Zen talk, right? Like, you know, the in the hog mirror, what's better? The hog or the honor of the Zen? Anna's better. I'm literally convinced that we objectively played the red the meta wrong in the finals. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that right now. I'm convinced that Anna was a better pick than Zen. And I see people saying like, oh, but you know, Zen can discord the hog. Listen. Violet is just a freak. That guy is literally the best Zen in the world, it's not even close. And that's why we were able to run Zen and make it work. That guy's a straight up fucking animal. I thought he was gonna get finals MVP, if you guys want the truth. I think Violet has probably been the best Overwatch player for the past two years. I gotta be careful because his ego is gonna inflate a little bit. But I think he's the best Overwatch player, pretty convincingly, at the moment. And he has been for a while. He's the best BAP, not even close, I don't care what people say. 
He's the best Zen, not even close. Actually, not even close for a Zen. Because when it started off, like, everyone was doing- a lot of teams were doing Zen that we scrimmed. And we were rolling every single team. Like, it wasn't even- it wasn't even close. Like, I- I'm not even joking, we were, we were just taking dumps on their head. But then at some point, when we were scrimming Philly, they switched over to Ana, and they started playing a lot better. And a lot of teams started switching to Ana, and we had more struggles when we were playing Zen. Ana is better than Zen. I'm telling you, chat, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm the professional here. People say, oh, but Discord allows you to pressure a hog. Wrong. Try fucking pressuring a hog when he's fucking nanoed and he has a nade on him and he's getting pocketed and he's fucking whole hogging your hog into the corner. Yeah, Jester dominated you the first time around. Where? Dominated. Me? Dominated me? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Except for Philly? Yeah. Where do, where do I even start with Philly, man? Where do I even start with Philly? I feel like there's so much that went wrong with Philly. Choke Lords? No, 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 no. Getting getting absolutely dumpstered on, 0-3, to three, two matches in a row, is not choking. That's just you getting dominated. I'm sorry. That's not a choke. When you get fucking ass-pounded like that, two games in a row, 3-0, you're not choking. What do, you, what do you think the problem was for Philly? Super, I'm so proud. I've been waiting days to yell that at you. Uh, a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, first of all, I knew as soon as they found out that they did not bring their whole roster with them, they were going to lose. And I don't know if it was the player's decision or if it was the team's decision. I don't know whose decision it was. But the fact that they don't that they didn't bring their whole team with them, I knew it was just fucked. If I was in charge of the team, I would make everyone go. Just because, one, you never know what can happen. And two, I feel like you're not really a team if you don't have everyone go together. It just feels shitty. Yeah, exactly. It creates a divide in your team. Even Chip said yes. I would make I would make him go too. If I was in charge. Because, dude, what happens if, like, I don't know. What, what, what if somehow Genji became meta and, and didn't have EQO? Then what? Profit put Genji? Yeah, exactly! Philly could have done that. And... I feel like they just didn't really know how to play that well. I don't know. Smart. Watching them play was just so ugly and sloppy. Like, they just didn't... I just feel like they didn't know what they were doing. Talk about Stan 1 and Lee J gone throwing. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Dude! Lee J gone! Can't believe you How?! Does Moth?! Not get Roll Star. How can people even compare Moth and Lee J Gone on Lucio? You just can't. You know what? Love you. No pads you out. I have never once seen Moth do something like this ever on Lucio. This man and this man, they're not the same. Lee J Gone was getting a little bit way too creative. I'm trying to like hold myself back a little bit. Alright, just a one-off thing, right? Sometimes you, you just get a little too in there. I understand. It can happen. Sometimes you... What else we got? You know, he's trying to come back fast. Someone explain to me what's going on here. Oh, Striker kind of dominated him here. This isn't really anything his fault, though. Striker just kind of popped off. Boom! I don't know how we- ah! Ah! I don't know how we lost this fight. But like, holy fuck, man. I'm pretty sure if I played that in ranked, I would get reported. If I was playing Lucio like this, I would get straight up reported. I'm not even trying to be mean here, chat. This was just terrible play. Like, straight up. Oh, and it's not over, by the way. You think, okay, he's cleaned up his act. He's cleaned up his feeding. He, he knows not to do it anymore, right? Wait, 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 stop, stop. Whoa, 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 whoa! Listen, all I'm saying is, I my Moth is a freak, okay? That guy, this one right here, that's a roll star. That's a roll star. What if the team is diving? Yeah, see, that's what I thought. Maybe he just got, maybe a little miscommunication happens. Run it back. And then, and then you... Uh... I don't think there's much diving going on here. He's playing like it wasn't in voice. <laughs>
Where's your highlights? Ah, which what, 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 what are you looking for? I got plenty of those. Oh fuck! Here it comes me and Violet going on the flank. Nah! Who else? Jester, where you going, boy? Mm. Look at this nasty right right click. 481. Oh my god. I like how she just ignores him. Like he's not gonna fucking chase her down. He's like, hello, you. F what? What is sicko? Are you surprised? So, Violet's an abs. Who does this shit? An absolute sicko. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was like, yo, I'm saving Hook here. They have Nano Blade. I'm gonna save Hook. You complete sicko. I was thinking, people, people asked me. They were like, what's better? Winning this year or winning last year? And I think it was winning this year just out of spite. Just out of spite. Just to see all these people fucking talking whatever it is they want to talk. And seeing all these people, oh... Oh, fucking Apex better. Oh, uh, we, we're Apex teams. We're gonna fucking jerk ourselves off a bit. And they're fucking over here saying whatever they want to say. Going over there and just having to fucking crush them. Just felt so good. Apex was better than 60% of NA. You know what, dude? I'm about to... Here's, here's what I think. Here's what I think. The bottom of NA was worse than the bottom of Apex. I'm not gonna deny that. The Bostons, the Washington Justices... Those kind of teams were terrible. They were just, they just were bad this season. Okay, there's no denying that. The Vancouver Titans. But people act like there weren't bad teams in APAC. Fucking London and Chengdu, they weren't good teams. And you gotta think about this. There's less teams in APAC, so they get to play each other more often. Compared to the top teams, those, those, those are free wins. That's just how it is. And dude, and even Seoul. Seoul was 12 and 12. With a minus seven map differential. Even Spark wasn't that great. Dude, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Spark and Soul's record would be negative if they didn't get the bonus wins from the tournaments. It was basically Dude, stop voice cracking, I'm gonna fucking beat the shit out of you. It was basically Shanghai versus everyone else. The other APAC teams were not that great. Even New York New York was better than the bottom teams, but even New York wasn't that great. Char Charge was good in double shield. They were. Also, I talked about this on the podcast today. How are there people saying that we didn't deserve to win? What? What? Smart. Super, I missed you and your what? smile. You know what that says to me, Chai? That's what that, that's what it says. That's what it means to me. Think about this. We didn't lose in the NA bracket for playoffs. And then we didn't lose in the top four. We didn't lose a single time in the playoffs. Philly lost three times. Seoul lost three times. And Shanghai lost twice. Where was our loss at? I don't know how you guys won without the super Where, Where's our loss at? Anybody see it? Oh, but super shock only won on control and hybrid. And I think that's just really fucking stupid. Shut up. Ahem. <clears throat> Exactly what I expected. Shanghai and APAC in general are miles better than NA. No free wins versus Boston, Dallas, Houston, and Vancouver anymore. Sorry, NA teams. You're going to be going to see that stomp NYXL in charge. Not that good, by the way. Shanghai will be your Overwatch League Season 3 champions. They choke somehow due to nerves in Grand Finals. Easily the best team in Overwatch League history. Oh, is that so? Are you sure about that? You know, conversely, on the on, on the on the opposite side of that coin, you know, slime has now lost two grand finals appearances. He's the only player to lose twice in a grand final. Feels fucking bad. So, chat, give it to me straight. Who was the better hog in the top four, me or Jester? Just give it to me straight. Moon, Moon. He was. He's not. He didn't. He, guys. Moon smart. too smug. That reminds me of the time when we had a fucking Black Widow uh, nest no. outside of our house last year. You guys want to see it? Eight, if you have arachnophobia, fucking look away from the screen. Look at that! Are those eggs? Yeah, those are the egg sacks. And the and the way we got rid of it was our 
GM came in the next day and he had extremely long matches. So he lit the matches and he stuck the match in there and started burning the fucking eggs in the Black Widow. And then the Black Widow immediately fucking fell off to the ground. And then he crushed it into the rocks with fire and burned it alive. And he was fucking laughing while he did it. He was like, yeah! No, I fucking... I did not want to mark them all as red. Fuck! I kept like that to piss people off on purpose because people are always like, "Super, mark everything as red." You're making. I was like, you know what? Just out of fucking spite, I'm gonna not do that. And I fucking misclicked. No, you know what? You know what Striker says? Whenever I would knock on a door and he was in there taking a shit, I he, I I'd knock. He'd say hello. I'd say Striker, are you in there? He'd say, Yeah, I'm taking a shit. Just like that every single time. Smart. Sinatra is fucking jacked. Wait, let me see this. Holy fuck, this guy's shredded! Look at this man! He's looking he's almost as big as me! You just start the stream? Yeah, yeah, I did. I just started it, actually. We're gonna have a short intro today, I think. How much sex exercise did you consume? I completely forgot about sex exercise! I gotta fucking read the new up the new episode. The super unironically read sex exercise? Yeah, what's so wrong with that? You guys act like it's a fucking heinous crime. It's not like I'm jerking off to it or anything. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? You're the saddest bunch I ever met.